Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture number two from the course CCNA 200-301. Today's lecture will cover the following topics. What is interface? What's the difference between UTP, STP, and fiber optic cables? What is Ethernet? And what is IEEE standards? What's the difference between bits and bytes? These are the major topics that we will cover in this chapters. Now let's jump to the next slide. What does exactly mean interface? Interface is nothing. It is just a physical components which manufactured by our companies built in the computers, switch, and routers. So an interface is just a shared boundary across which two or more, more separate components of a computer system exchange information. The exchange can be between hardware, humans, softwares, and combination of these. Actually, the diagram you can see on the screen. In simple, we can say the place where you guys are the engineers, are network engineers, they are plugging an RG45 cable. Exactly that place is called interface. So in this scenario, we have a switch here. This switch has a 24 or 26 or 48 interface with a two uh, gigabit interface. I told you the place where you plug an RG45 cables or different uh, CAT cables, exactly that place is called interface. In this diagram, we have uh, five interface with the computers and a 24 or 48 interface with this Cisco switches. This is called interface. Now let's jump to the next slide. Interface will look like. Here we have a image of or a picture of switch Cisco Catalyst switch 2960. This switch provides 48 gigabit interfaces with two 1G, a small form factor plugable uh, interfaces. Actually, this interface used with the fiber optic cable. Here we have a mood button uh, when we troubleshoot the switch we should use this button in order to indifference mood and this switch provides a 48 gigabyte ethernet ports sfp measure slots before uh, the old switch doesn't provide the sfp on that case we have a gigabit interface converter but nowadays the new switch all are built in with the sfp and module slots rg45 Console port. This port is used for console and the other, the rest of two of them are used for management purpose. And these are the SFP ports. We have 10 BST, we have 100 BST, and we have 1000 BST interface with this switch. So this is called interface and ports. What does it mean auto MDIX? Auto MDIX is the feature support network devices, router, switch, and cards. No worries about whether you're using a straight or a cross cable when connect to network cable. These device ports, either, uh, either one of these cable type will work. But the auto MDIX feature will auto detect the type of cable connect and make it work. It means when you are connecting to device before at the old uh, device of network. May or may not you guys connect the difference cable between two switches but the so which operate or work well. Uh, maybe you ask from yourself. So on that case, you connect a difference or wrong cables, but those switch work well. So it means the new switch or the new version of Cisco switch uh, built in or provide a features called Auto MDIX. Auto MDIX is the feature that make sure and swap if you are connect a difference cable, different types of cable between two switches, but they swap it and make uh, proper work of the switch. What does mean ports? As I told you, we have interface and we have ports. These small shapes are these small shapes are called interface, and where we have a ports. This is called NIC. NIC stands for Network Interface Card used to connect an RG45 cable. This connector should connect to this area. I mean, in this small uh, device which is used to uh, transfer or send and receive data to this computer. When we send a packet or a frame over the cables, the cable will transfer a bitwise. So that's why we use an NIC. NIC is uh, network interface cards and this is the actual cable we use 
in such a diagram the cable is straight through we have two types of cable we will see about the difference in next slides what is rg45 exactly rg45 is a types of connector commonly used for ethernet networking rg stands for registered jacked 45 simply refer to the number of the interface standards rg45 has eight pins means an rg45 contain eight separate wires we have a difference picture of uh, rg45 connectors this rg45 connector has the view of eight pins here we have uh, this is uh, an ic card with a uh, rg45 connector and here we have two connectors of rg45 here we have the wires and also a uh, rg45 cables uh, rg45 connector uh, touch with the cable these are called rg45 cable so you guys when you uh, make a network you have to install an rg45 with the correct cables with a uh, correct color combination of the cables we have two types of cable in a network one is UDP and the other is STP and this is called NIC interface network interface card so if we don't have a, such a small device NIC we will not be able to connect uh, to our more than two computers in order to communicate between each others now let's jump to the next slide what is unshielded twisted pair cable or UTP. It is a type of Ethernet standards. UTP cable are widely used in the computers and telecommunication industries has a Ethernet cable and telephone wires. And an UTP cable conductor which from single circuits are twisted around each other and other to conceal out electromagnetic interference EMI for external sources. These are the types and the shape of UTP cable. We have two types cable, as has I already told you and mentioned about. We have UTP and STP. The difference between UTP and STP is just a uh, extra fuel in order to protect the, uh, the cable from the sun and the lights. In UTP and STP, we have four pairs uh, with uh, eight wires. So. We have one pair, two pair, three pair, and four wire, uh, four pair with eight wires. Ethernet. We have the standards, all standards are which provide by IEEE. UDP. UDP Ethernet cable 10 BSD and 100 BSD. We have different standard. What does mean 10 BSD? 10 means the amounts of data which transfer over a wire and base means the standard which provide by the uh, IEEE. T means uh, twisted per cable. Both 10 BC and 100 BST, two per and four wire will use to communicate between two computers. It means if we connect two computers, if we connect two computers, this laptop is connect via straight through cable with this switch. So we use pin 1 and pin 2 for transmitting from the laptop sides and we use pin 3 and pin 6 for receiving data for the other sides. So in both sides we use the same and the correct color combinations. So laptop transmit via pin 1 and pin 2 and the switch receive the data via pin 1 and pin 2. So we transmit data on pin 3 and pin 6 and the laptop receive data from the pin 3 and pin 6. Now we have different illustrations about usage of these types of cables. The same uh, uh, other scenarios, the same scenario we connect router and switch but we use a straight cable so what's the difference between if we have such a scenario why we use this? Actually, this uh, diagram shows the usage of different pin between UTP cables for the new uh, engineers, those who have uh, enough knowledge about how to connect uh, UTP cable or STP cables. So router transmit data on pin 1 and pin 2 and also switch receive data on pin 1 and pin 2. But the other sides, router receive data from the switch on pen 3 and pen 6 and also switch transmit data on pen 3 and pen uh, 6. 
actually if we have such a connections i mean when we connect switch to a router the cable the router will transmit data on pin 1 and pin 2 and the switch will receive data on pin 1 and pin 2 and also a router will receive data on pin 3 and pin 6 and switch will transmit data on pin 3 and pin 6 this is the actual usage of uh, pairs so UTP on 10 BST and 100 BST it means 10 megabyte per second or 100 megabyte per second they use two pair with four wires these are the usage of pens with the these types of cable now let's jump to the next diagram or next scenario what we'll have in the next scenario if we connect two switch between each other's via a straight through cable that's why we call it full duplex it means in one cable they send the data and the other they receive the data from other pins they receive data this is the connector or the cable we use to this network in this area we have a connectors and also here we have a connector an rg45 connector we connect two switch between each others via a straight through cable again switch transfer uh, transmit data on pin 1 and pin 2 it's different switch i mean it's two switches before we had in one side a laptop in other sides a switch and also we have a router with a switch now we have two switch is it possible to pass data over a thread cable between same devices that is not possible it means what's the issue the issue is we use a wrong cable and instead we if we pass data from one switch to other switch we have to use a cross cable so cross cable is used between same devices so let's let's jump to the next slide and see what is the difference between uh, other slides and the cable again we have the same devices two router we have two routers so how to use between same device how to pass data from one side to other side look why we say cross cable again we use the same connectors and cables but just the differences between the color combinations and the color coding is different we have a cross cable and we connect this router router 1 with router 2 via cross cable why we say cross now look at the color combinations router receive data on pin 1 and pin 2 on the other side router receive data on pin 1 and pin 2 but routers transmit data on pin 3 and pin 6 and also the other router transmit data on pin 3 and pin 6 why we say cross cross mean the first side i mean the pin 1 and pin 2 the wire 1 and wire 2 in pairs they cross the each others and shifting the place here we have pin 1 and another side we have pin 1 is connected to the p uh pin 3 or wire 3. here also we use two pair with the four wires so one side cross the other side this called we say cross cable if we connect between same device across cable or with uh, if we connect same devices uh, via cross cable there will be no uh, issues they can pass data to other side now let's see now look at this both are sent and transmit data both are receive and transmit data the issue before with two so which we have the cable was a straight through cable so a straight cable through uh, is not working between same device between same device we use a cross cable but what if we have one side router the other side's a uh, computers or a pc in this scenario also we use a cross cable because there are these are different or different types of uh, digital machine in one side we have a computer in another side we have a router router transmit data on pin 1 and pin 2 a computer transmit data on pin 1 and pin 2 but router receive data on pin 3 and pin 6 and also the computer receive data on pin 3 and pin 6 now let's see 
Again, we have a cross cable. As I told you, why we say cross and why we mentioned about the cross cable. Cross cable means one cable cross over the other. So, pin 1 and pin 2 cross over to pin 1 and pin uh, 3 of the uh, other cables. I mean the green cable. The orange cross over green. Now, it's able to pass data from one side to other side. Both are communicate well. These are different type, different uh, color combinations and different uh, cable uh, where we should install the uh, straight through cable and where we install the cross cable. With the different device we use, with different device we use cross cables uh, and with the same device we use a straight cable. Here we use a cross cable. Now let's jump to the next slide and what do we have on our next slide. Okay, these are the functionality of this cable, which uh, pins use for transmitting and which pins are used for receiving. So if we use a hardware called firewall, firewall transmit data on pin 1 and pin 2 and receive data on pin 3 and pin uh, 6. Router as well, they transmit data on pin 1 and pin 2 and receive on pin 3 and pin 6. Computers, this subcomputer transmit data on pin 1 and pin 3 and receive data on pin 3 and pin 6. Just accept switch or switch as receive data on pin 1 and pin 2 and transmit data on pin 3 and pin 6. This is the different types of using uh, pin over a network when you install or when you make a LAN networks. Uh, keep in mind to use a proper cables. Uh, nowadays, even we have, uh, we don't have such a uh, issues and ch uh, challenges because uh, the switch are built in with the R2 MDIX feature. So MDIX feature will provide such a solution for us if we use a different cable. The MDIX will provide a good solution. They automatically detect and swap the cables and make it proper. The computers or the switch uh, do their jobs well. So it's actually the cable. As I told you, with uh, 10 BST, with 10 BST, and with 100 BST, or with the Ethernet cable or fast Ethernet cable, we use only two uh, pair with four wires. But uh, uh, in 1000 BST or 10 Giga BST, I mean, these cables we use four pairs with eight wire, it means. Both uh, all these wire are using when we make a networks. The operation is same with the UDP cable, but just a little difference with the field. So STP cable was originally designed by the IBM for a token ring networks that include two individual wires cover with a full shielding, which prevent electromagnetic interference or EMI, thereby uh, transpa uh, transporting data faster. STP is similar to Anshula Twisted Pair Cable UTP, however, it contains an extra full wrapping and cover bridge jackets to help shield the cables signals from the interference. STP cable are costlier when compared to UTP, but has advantage of bringing cap capable of supporting higher transmissions uh, right across a uh, longer distance. The only difference is with the UTP is a shield. Here we have a shield, an extra shield, but when the UDP we don't have it. This shield used to cover uh, wires from the sunlight and protect it from the damage. So this is the only difference with the UDP and STP. These are the big difference we use a STP. So what's fiber optic? A fiber optic cable is a network cable that contains a strands of glass fiber and insides and insulated casing. They are designed for long distance with a high performance data networking and telecommunications compared to a wired cable. Fiber optic cables provide a higher bandwidth and transmission data over long distance. If we compare fiber optic with a UDP cable, or uh, this is a big uh, in contrast with the UDP, a fiber optic uses uh, lights, and uh, whether UDP cables use electric uh, electrical circuits. So this is the big difference between these two cables. We have a different uh, picture of them. See it. Uh, we have uh, 
such type of cable all of them is a fiber optic cable so three outer layers we have here a three outer layer the three outer layers cable protect interior the cable and make the cables easier to install and manage while the inner clouding we have here a cloud and also we here we have a core work together to create the environment to allow transmission a light over the cable a light source called the optimal transmitter these two together provide an environment in order to proceed or transmit the light shines light into core light can pass through the core however the light reflects to the cladding at the next light we will have a complete view of uh, how to reflect the lights into cloud and how back into the core so these are the difference uh, how the fiber optic cables pass lights from one uh, angle to the other angle so core uh, cloud with the core they are working together in order to provide the facilities in order to pass or transmit uh, a light or a light uh, emitting diodes to transmit uh, data from one side to other side so this is the cables we have two types of uh, cable and uh, fiber optics we have multi-mode and single mode cable so the difference between multi-mode and single mode cable is as uh, you see in the pictures multi-mode cable is used for a uh, short distance but uh, single mood cable is used for a long distance we use for a short distance and we use single mood uh, fiber optic, uh, optic cables for a long distance the core and cladding working together and they reflect the lights and different angle in order to provide the environment to send or transmit the data and also the multi mood fiber optic cable use LED lead but uh, the single mode use a laser this is a, another difference in contrast between uh, a multi mode and also with a single mode we use multi mode for short distance easy work with use in a lens multi mode use for short distance easy work with use in a lens provide more bandwidth and single mode is used for long distance Difficult, uh, difficult to work with used by phone companies cable TV this is the difference between two types of fiber optic cable what is Ethernet Ethernet is nothing Ethernet is just a name a uh, family name for all the Ethernet cable Ethernet is a way of connecting computers together in a local area networks any suit of electrical and electronics engineers are triple E define Ethernet has a protocol so ethernet is just a, a set of protocol in order to provide a convenient way between two different uh, digital machine uh, to establish a communica communication or accomplish their communications so we here we have a two uh, pictures they are talking with each other but they don't know actually the language of each other they're just getting confused they ask from this one uh, this uh, this uh, guy is asking from this one uh, uh, this one what's your talking what's your language so all these standards are based on ieee standard actually it's a rule of uh, these standards are provide provide a rule in order to communicate with each other same in a real world uh, if we two person talking between each others one person will speak in english and the other will speak french so in between we need a third person or a translator or inter uh, an interpreters so here we use a protocol or ethernet they provide by triple e and this uh, the function of ethernet is to provide a convenient way between two parties to communicate and to accomplish their uh, conversations network protocols they can communicate understand each other language now they are able to communicate with each other because they know the language of this guy and, and also both of them know each other language this person in right side they speak in english and this person in left side they speak in french but now they are both are able to understand each other language and they can communicate between uh between each others so this is the usage and the benefits of the uh, beauty of ethernets and protocols 
Actually, what is Ethernet? IEEE defined at 802.3 uh, as a set of protocol or a set of standard they define with different types of cable. A protocol defined with the Ethernet based network. What is 10BST? Actually, in the real world, we say 10 megabyte per second. So, this cable is in a real world, we use 10 megabyte per second. It means, in one second, such a types of cable uh, transmit a uh, 10 megabyte data per second. So, 10 means the prefix is speed and megabyte per second. We have 10 megabyte per second, 100 megabyte per second, 1000 megabyte per second. Uh, megabit per second. It means G indicate a gigabits. Base means metal stuff, base bands. The base mean use a base band and the T is a suffix use a types of cable. It's whether it's a UTP or it's whether, whether it's a fiber. If we uh, check whether the cable is uh, UTP or whether the cable is fibers, so if we have at the end of the cable with the suffix of T, it means it indicate it's a UDP cable with uh, with the in the uh, suff suffix with the index uh, suffix indicate at the end of the cable with the X. It means this is a fiber optic cables. These are the difference between the uh, standards uh, which defined uh, uh, by IEEE. 10BST or 10 megabyte per second on twisted pair cables. A cut five cable at 100 mega. 100 meters we use uh, 10 BST cables or 100 BST cables the distance we can install such types of cable the distance will be a hundred meters but they uh, transmit only 10 megabyte per second on a twisted per cable per second this is the charts and the standards which provide by IEEE the evolution of Ethernet standards to meet higher speeds this is the standards. Date, in which date we have which types of cable. These are the IEEE standards in this area. So these are the standards which provide by IEEE. And here we have the name of these standards. Here we have the data rates and we, are, we have a types of cable. It means 802.ti. 10 BST, it means 10 megabyte per second. It's the name, the uh, it's, it's standard names. IEEE standard it is the real names we use in our real environments, and this is the data rate 10 megabyte per second. A category uh, three, it's a cat three cables, and also the other is a 10 G base SR, it means 10 gigabyte per second. It's a laser optimal MMF single mood fiber, it's a type, it's a single mood fiber cable single mode uh, fiber cable use a laser in order to transmit data uh, lights from one angle to other or from one side to other sides and also the other types we have a hundreds and these are the uh, speeds type of cable speeds name standards and dates these are a complete charts about the speed of cables uh, about the speeds uh, the names and the evolution of the cables so differentiate between bytes and bit what is byte when we connect two computers on when uh, computers uh, transmit data the computer or the electric uh, digital machine will not be able to transmit a words or a character they are just transmitting a bits so what is bits when you write something on a computer the computer translated or encoding to a binary codes the computer or the digital device any kinds of digital device they only know the binaries are the bits and zero and ones so what's zero and ones both is either zeros and one zeros means off and ones means on ones means provide five volts power so this is the difference we have a binary numbers here we have eight bits each one of them provide a volt so we have eight bits here a combination of eight bytes would provide a one bytes. One bytes means eight bit is equal to one byte. Whether we transmit data over a wire network or a wireless uh, wireless network, any kinds of network, they just provides a bits, not a byte. So we have a diagram of network here as well. Look at the diagrams, the illustration of data. We have a wireless connection here, and also we have a 
uh, wired connection in here. So when this computer pass or when this computer send a uh, network frames over to the internet, the frame will convert into the binaries and binary will transfer or binary will move over to the switch on line and reach the destination. So whether we use a wireless or whether we use a, a wired network, in both cases the data will uh, the data will convert into the uh, binary formats, then transmit to the network. So this is the end of the lecture. I hope this lecture will be informative for you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to ask questions if you face any problems. Thanks for watching.